Hi, this is Debbie Sementelli with Lettering Art Studio and Correspondence Inc. Type Foundry. And I'm back again to show you another tutorial. Today we're going to be working with add-ons and ornamental flourishes using my new Dom Loves Mary font. And in the font family, I have three different versions of the script font. You'll see up above in Dom Loves Mary. This is the stylistic script. And then below, you'll see the text. That's Dom Loves Mary text. And it features regular caps and small caps. So you can uh, use either, depending on what you're doing. And the font is available at myfonts.com. Today I'm going to be working with a sample that's provided by cardgirl.com, Nessa Sander. Thank you so much. She sent me um, an invitation that she created using some of the add-ons and ornamental flourishes. And one of the things that I want to point out as I turn these off and show you her sample is one of the things that I did when I created the font was I created it so that you could actually purchase just the add-ons or just one set of the script which comes with ornamental flourishes and then use it as Nessa has done here um, combined with other fonts. This is a really popular look right now and, and it's a really cool look so I wanted to be able to give people something that they could use if they were going to create a similar design. So in this particular design, she's used, this is uh, the word and, which is one of my add-ons. So she's used the add-ons. Another add-on that she used is, let me see where it is. Okay, the RSVP down here. And then she also used the this um, particular ornamental flourish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you how you can find those, how you can add them, and, um, and play with them, and manipulate and transform them if you need. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn everything off here. And I'm going to show you, for instance, how to create the add-on and. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to the tool, oh, by the way, I'm working in Photoshop. It's kind of easiest for tutorials. You can, of course, also use this in any type of program that you have that has layers, including Microsoft Word. And so the first thing I'm going to do is using my type tool, I'm just going to create a box to put that in. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I have a, here it is. I have a, um, let me just do this a little bit here. Okay. I have an add on map that comes with the set of add ons. So this tells you the different keys that you would need to type in order to get the add on that you want. So I'm looking for this add on right here, the word and right here, which is on an angle here. So as you, as you can see, it's the capital F. So I'm going to go back to let me create another text box for you. OK. So I'm going to go back here. I've looked up in my font listing, and I've chosen Don Loves Mary add-ons. So I know, I know I'm in the right place. And now I am just going to hit the capital F. And there you see I get the word and. And in a similar vein, I'm going to show you how to get the ornamental flourish. Let me turn this back on and show you. So this is the ornamental flourish that comes with the um, Dom Loves Mary stylistic version. Each version, Dom Loves Mary standard, stylistic, and contextual, have their own set of ornamental flourishes that comes with the, the package. Now normally, this is something you cannot access in Photoshop. You can access it in Illustrator through the glyph panel. 
And if you're on a PC, I believe that you can access, access it um, through the character view. But I don't have a PC, I'm working with a Mac, and I've never before been able to access flourishes or glyphs um, that are hidden. They're not something you can type with a key until I found this really cool thing called Pop Char. Now, I don't get anything for this, but I think this is really cool and I found it beneficial. And so you'll be able to also access any of the additional glyphs that you would have in a font as long as they are unicoded. That's very important. Um, if they're not unicoded, you cannot access them. So when we discovered, when I discovered Pop Char, um, I decided that we would have to Unicode all of our glyphs so that people could use this very cool function, uh, application actually, in, in, um, in their design. So all I'm going to do is I make sure that, oh, I've got to go up here first and change it to stylistic. So I'm in the font list and I'm going to go to Don Loves Mary stylistic. Now I'm going, just going to click on pop char and you can see it has, I can scroll up and show you, oh, there we go, it has all of the letters. Now these are all accessible through the keys, but again, these are normally not. Th these are hidden treats that font designers put in for you. And um, so I'm going to find that particular ornamental, ornamental flourish and click on that, and there it is. And if I were going to size it up, this particular flourish would be at 65 points. So I'm going to go up and change that to 65. And this would then be able to fit right in. I'm going to get my direction tool, move that in, and that would fit right in there. So that's just another little tip. Now I'm going to show you what we do when we want the opposite. Now, if you go to pop char, you can see that I've actually got it opposite so that for people who just don't want to do that, they don't want to use the transformer tool, you can just click on this and you'll just get the reflection of that. But you can also do something else. So I'm going to show you that. So this is on this layer, and I can just make a copy of that layer. And now I go up to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and you can see that it flips. Now here's the cool thing too. Look at that design. So if you wanted to, you could actually use this ornamental, ornamental flourish, hard to say, to create this heart-shaped design, which is kind of cool. That would be a fun corner. It would be part of a good header. But instead for this, she just moved it over and used it for, um, for the other side of the words. So that's one way to use it. Now you can see she also used it down here. And so again, we would just, I'm going to go back to the original one. We would just make a copy of it, come up to edit, Go to transform, whoops, lost that. And this time I'm going to flip it vertically. So that's a totally different look. But again, isn't that kind of cool how that creates its own design? And um, so you would bring this down here and then she actually reduced it in size. And the way that you do that, press command T to give you the box to allow you to reduce. And if you want it to reduce and remain in proportion, you're going to press the shift key while you are making these changes. And I'm going to tap it into place a little bit. I may not get it exactly. Um, we want to turn it so we come to the corner and you see the uh, small, I'm going to zoom in here for you. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and apply it and zoom in. And let's get that command T again. So I'm coming up here and I hope you can see this arrow. So I'm just going to turn it, rotate it, and then with the arrow keys, bring it into place. So that's about what she um, did to get that and apply. There we go. So um, the RSVP down here is also 
and I'm going to bring this up and show you. Pull that, whoops. Make sure you are highlighting the layer before you move. <laughs> okay, so you can see the RSVP. And I'm going to show you a little trick too, because sometimes when you get down into these uh, smaller sizes and you get these very thin lines, you know, it's it's hard um, to make sure that they're going to print well. You're not quite sure. I'll try to get that in position a little bit better. So another thing you can do is simply make a copy of that layer. So now you've got two of them, and it's going to thicken it up a little bit. And I'm going to highlight them, pressing the Command key. Again, I'm on a Mac, so uh, for those of you on a PC, uh, you'll have to get that information by Googling it. I don't work on a PC. And then press E, and that's going to join the two layers together. And that's going to give me just a little bit more uh, thickness so that I feel a little bit better about those thin lines printing well. And you can make as many copies as you want. So that's how we did that. And let me I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. Oh, you get to see some of my family there. So this is just one way that you can use the Don Loves Mary font. Um, with the, you can just purchase the add-on separately. Bring these back up. I'm going to turn this off. Right. Yes. Okay. Oh. All right. Here we go. Okay. So um, again, you can just purchase the package of the um, add-ons if that's all you want. The uh, ornamental flourishes come in each of the script packages, so you can just purchase one script package and you're still going to get some flourishes. And in addition, I do have additional flourishes that are really made to go on the ends of the letters, the upper and lowercase letters. But today I wanted to focus on the add-ons and the ornamental flourishes. Thanks again to the sample uh, invitation provided by cardgirl.com, Nessa Sander, and this is Debbie Sementelli with the Dom Loves Mary font family in our correspondence ink type foundry available at myfonts.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and there will be more to come. Thanks. Enjoy your day. Bye.